I just want to talk a little bit with you guys about how much pool has changed. It's amazing to go from the old style of play to the new style. And from pool from the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and even 80s and 90s, the players have gotten lower and lower on their sticks, their heads gotten lower and lower on the cue, and their hands has gotten further back and their bridges have gotten long. I'm just gonna show you roughly, but I guess I'll, I'll imitate, like the, the, old, the old school players, they, they tended, they tried to be at 90 degrees, which I'm very big on being at 90 degrees. This is how I like to hold my shot. I like to be like this and be all the way down on my stick and, and have a 90, I want to be 90 degrees and this should be the only thing moving. Or if anything, I'll even, I'm happy with a little more than 90, but I don't ever want to be in front of 90. I'd rather be back. So the old school players would Guys like Willie Moscone, who run over 500 balls, and other great players, and some guys today that have that have kept the old school style, where they would be very choked up on the butt of the cue, the back end of the cue. This is my wrap from here to here. I hold my hand at the end of the wrap or even further on most shots. But I used to play up here, and I actually, I'd actually stroke, stroke the ball, I'd stroke the balls, and when, and I used to have a slip stroke, which some guys do, do that to this day, and here's a little tip for you too, is I would stroke, and then I'd stop at my cue ball, slip my hand back, then pull back and shoot. And I noticed I was missing some balls. So instead of me slipping at the end, Instead of me stroking and then slipping, I wasn't always ending up in the same spot. So instead, I just picked one spot where I, where I ended up, and my consistency went through the roof. And that jumped my game up a lot as I was trying to go through the ranks. And also, I totally am 100% behind this, that on many shots, now I know that old school players played a lot more straight pool. So in straight pool, you could get away with not having to get as low on the cue. You could get away being very close to balls. But in nine ball and 10 ball, and in any game, I believe, with if you gotta move that cue ball at all or you want your pocketing to improve, it's so important, guys, to, to really try to get your, your arm, your arms a little bit more stretched on the stick. And you really want to have at least like a, be at least, you want to be at least, at least eight inches away from the cue ball. My left hand to the cue ball. I want it to be at least eight inches. I'm going to show you this angle. At, at least eight inches from, from my hand to the cue ball. And then I like my hand. I'm holding right at the end of the wrap. My pinky starts the wrap. And then my head is very down low. So I can look down my shaft and, and, and look through the cue ball to the two ball and make my shot. And the old school players, they were all the way up here. Now, some of them still had a 90 degree angle, and that's why they were able to play so well still. But they shot up high with only like a three or four inch bridge. It's pretty amazing that, that some of the best players who ever lived were from the 50s and that era, and they were able to play like that. But now the new generation of players and in any sport, they always improve. And now we got the internet, we got more cameras, we got a lot more to help us learn. And I like to believe I'm a student of the game 
And this improved my game so much to go from holding the stick up, up high on the rack and being too close to the cue ball and not getting low enough. So really work, guys, on, on getting at least eight inches, eight to 10 inches away from the cue ball with your hand, getting your hand at least around the end of the wrap. Listen, if you normally hold it, you know, head in the middle, you could try it. I want you to try to get it 90 degrees. But now, as you move, if, if I keep my hand close and I start here, and I try to put my hand to here, and I don't move my left hand back, then I'm gonna be at way more than 90, which is really gonna feel uncomfortable for anybody trying to make this change. So I recommend that you try to make this change not at the maximum change instantly. Like I would say, Try to go back like two or three inches and see how that feels. Because any, if you can move your hip, it seems to be if you go back this way, say four inches, you usually got to pull your bridge back at least two or three. It's about half. You go back four inches on the, on the butt of the cue, your, your hands got to go back about half that amount of distance. And it will really help you Really, it really helps you drop down on the stick. And you really get that nice hit. That nice hit that we're looking for, guys. It, it's so valuable. Give that a try, guys. I, 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 I hope you guys enjoy that.